YouTube help are back again with another video. So in today's video we're going to discuss what I'm currently trading at the moment. I'm going to give you one token that I'm invested in that's going to change the narrative when uh, when Hong Kong starts trading on the 1st of June, which will go in a little bit later on. I'll go through what's happening with Bitcoin and then we'll just go through a couple of other stuff and then we'll get into it. But first of all guys, before we get started, could you hit that like button please? Could you hit that subscribe button please? I'd really, really appreciate it. As you can see, we're on 380 subscribers now and I'd love to be able to get a 400. So without further ado, let's get into it. So guys, let's just start on Bitcoin. So what's been happening with Bitcoin? As you can see, we had a nice pump the other day and I was lucky enough to catch it. But just before the resistance here, yeah, this is where my take profit was. I didn't think it was going to fly up as high as it did, but it did. However, looking out on the weekly chart, this is what I've got to show you guys on the weekly. So on the weekly, we've been coming up this uptrend perfectly now since, let's just say, since last year, really, October. I had a, It's a double bottom, as you can see. So from January, we've been coming up this uptrend there you go you can see it better so we've bounced off here in january and we've come up towards this resistance area we couldn't break it we've come back down bounce off the uptrend again we did wick down but we did come up and uh, reclaim that and bounce higher up through this resistance look and now we're using this as support so this is the third time guys and for me the rsi is nearly coming down to reset so this will be in another five days, I believe. Eh, uh, sorry, four days. And in my opinion, I think we're gonna go up and touch these areas in the green box, which will be around about 32 to 34K. That's what my analysis is on this. So I took a trade this morning and opened up a long on Bitcoin. Uh, now this is leverage trading and I wouldn't sort of uh, advise you to go down that route. But as you can see, this is perfect. Just on the nice area on support, ready to bounce up to the next area. And as you come in a bit closer, we'll go on the hourly. We'll get rid of these arrows. As you can see, on this uptrend, we've hit it. We've just penetrated a little bit, but now we're having a nice bounce off it. So I've set up a long, a long on there. I'll show you where my long is, if this, if it decides to open. Uh, that's not my so this is the Bitcoin one look so a nice entry round about that area where I showed you on the long support and I've just went long on here stop loss just underneath underneath that long resistance a uh, long support sorry and let's see if we can ride it up so that was a Bitcoin look a nice little pump off that support so what's going on with the Dixie now remember guys if the Dixie's doing bad, it's good for Bitcoin. So over the last, well, it's been in a steady uptrend as well since May. Obviously May the 22nd, not too long. So if I go out further, go on the four hourly one, you can see that we've been on a on an incline for a while now. And it's been going up nicely. So for Bitcoin to continue in climbing higher, we want this to start dropping. Now, it is oversold. Uh, overboard look and we could be coming back down hopefully but I don't just go off hopefully we just go off the charts so let's just get on to another trade that I'm in so the other trade that I'm in is there uh, is mana so decentralized and as you can see going back we've been coming up breaking up through yeah you can see the arrow and we've been using this to support and we've took up towards the upside towards the 52 53 cents we have started declining again and we've tried to bounce off this again as support look which we have but we haven't got anywhere as near as we did further down the line so we've come to test it again but this time we have broken through that support and i'll go into a smaller time frame and show you so as you can see this is perfectly this we've broke down and now we're using this as resistance so what was support as resistance so this was a perfect entry for me so i entered the trade here I've put my stop loss over these previous uh, resistance up here and I'm going to write it down to 
this green line is where it's had uh, support so I don't want to be greedy and wait till it gets support I'm just going to get out before that so in my, my opinion we are going to head down towards these areas and that's why I took the trade so that was with decentralized and the thing you've got to watch for is with Bitcoin having a nice sort of breakdown early in the morning obviously alts follow that and shoot down as well so in my opinion yeah we did retest this is now resistance and hopefully we'll start coming down towards these areas so just briefly moving on so in the news you might have followed in the news about hong kong uh, obviously china narrative from the june from june the first they are going to be allowing crypto so over the years all you've heard about uh, in hong kong china is that the banning crypto they've banned it numerous times and uh obviously that's been that's not been getting exposure to millions of people around the globe so as you can see now with this being open to people in in china which is probably 1.4 billion people maybe it's even more it's going to get a lot more exposure so if you're looking into the chinese coins uh, i've invested in this for years now and the coin i want to bring up to your attention is a uh, v chain so if you don't know what v chain is v chain used to be called ven and it was on the ethereum blockchain so with all the high fees in that sunny who the founder is he decided to do his own blockchain with v chain and instead of using ethereum he used the, his own v chain uh, the v chain blockchain with v thought is the transaction fees so the highest price there i believe was seven eight dollars and then uh, now at the moment the price is obviously right down but once it's went on its own, if you look at the partnerships that VeChain is doing, and uh, people who have obviously, I got people involved years ago, uh, two, three years ago before it even started flying. And I'll just show you now if I can find the, uh, if I can find the actual ticker on VeChain. There it is, yeah, look, so I'll show you on VeChain. So it's all time high on the new blockchain was, I'll show you on the weekly. Might even have to go to the monthly here. But anyways, see, so this is the areas I was buying in. And then we absolutely took right off. So up to 28 cents. Now I bought a million of these round about this area here. So I was up a good few hundred thousand. And the novice that I was, I didn't take profits up these areas. I've rode it, especially for the long term. So we're all the way back down to these areas again here. So I've rode it all the way up, up hundreds of thousands in profit and then rode it back down. And I do believe in this company. And as you can see, look at the partnerships that it's got. It's not just one avenue where you're using the DEX tools and getting the fees. It, it's in agriculture, logistics, telecoms, carbon assets. Tech partners like Amazon Web Services, BMW, Reynold, BYD, which is a, the sort of China version of Tesla. And look at all these partnerships, Walmart, H&M. These are massive, massive partnerships that are just waiting to come into fruition. You've got PwC. I mean, I'll put the links down below and you can have a look yourself. But obviously, they've just partnered with the UFC. And if you're a fight fan like me... Every fight you'll see on the, in the octagon, you'll see the VeChain brand because they send signed a multi-million pound deal with it. So, in my opinion, once Hong Kong starts opening up on June the first, this is going to be exposure to VeChain, one of the best coins over that area, and I do think it'll have an impact on on price. So it has been suppressed, but you remember, guys, we're just in the start of a bull market at the moment. The very very start. We've been in a bear market downtrend for over a year now. And now I believe it's time to turn. And the turn is going to obviously enhance the experience when we're flying back up to all-time highs again. Now, this is not going to happen in one month, two months. But this is where you've got to position yourself. Dollar cost average when you can. Pick up the tokens that have got use case. Not like meme coins where people are making a fortune at the moment on meme coins. But they haven't got any utility whatsoever. They're just hype. It's like the tulip mania. Just people buying it for the sake of it. They pump up and then they just sell on other people. So I never want to get involved with a meme coin. So at the moment, guys, I think VeChain is one of the best out there. And it has got utility. And I think it'll reach its all-time highs again. 
So that is one of the tokens I want to bring up to your attention. So I was showing you about my trades today. The trades are, are done. Well, they're in there. So decentralized. I kind of find the other one now. And we'll just see how we get on with that. Uh, Lena, sorry, yes. So Lena, this was a short area from this area. Let me take profits down here. And we're in profit already, which is good. This is starting to dump, which I, which I wanted to do. So we're up 10% on that. Uh, not so much on there. And I'm down on decentralized at the moment. But we'll just see how we get on with the trades. And guys, if you want to follow my trades, I've got my own Telegram group. And I'll put a link below. And I'll just go through all the trades of what I've been doing. Uh, obviously, I don't win every time. Uh, sometimes I get losses, which is unfortunate. But that's part of the game. Uh, and I just go through uh, my wins. Sometimes I show you my trade setups. And we just go through stuff like that. And you can either follow along or you can sort of go into your own trades. But I'll just show you my setups. Just setups of why. Uh, just trade in the range and just stuff like that. And you can go through them yourselves. So I just want to make this a brief video, guys. Uh, just before we finish, I just want to reiterate, guys, if you could hit that like button, I'd really help it so we could grow to 400 subscribers. Uh, like I say, hit the like button, subscribe, do all them fancy things. But most of all, have a good day, guys. I'll see you all in the next video where I'll be showing you some more trade setups and how you can profit from them. But for now, take care and I'll see you all in the next one.